matching up all straw hats against each other, who wins and who loses. Remember, this is just for fun. I will look at each of the straw hats as they would logically fight given their set of skills and weaknesses, and I will completely ignore things that are hard to measure, like strength or speed. They are all equally fast, their hockey, if they have it, is equally strong, and they have no sense of honor. I am not taking Luffy's Conqueror's hockey into account, because it's impossible to know which of the straw hats have strong enough will to resist it. Furthermore, since Frankie's strength is his robots, he starts every fight inside Frankie Shogun, and Jinbei has access to an ocean. Monkey D. Luffy Defense Rubber Body Observation Hockey Attack Fire Punch Armament Hockey Gear 4th Jet Bazooka Weakness Illusions The Sea Roranoa Zoro Defense Observation Hockey Attack Ranged Slices More Swords Armament Hockey Vinsmoke Sanji Defense Fire Resistance Sky Walk Observation Hockey Attack Fire Kicks Armament Hockey Weakness Women Nico Robin Attack Unavoidable Neck Snapping Weakness Damage to Clones Carry Back The Sea Nami Defense Illusions Attack Lightning Usopp Defense Observation Hockey Attack Long Range Exotic Attacks Brook Defense Nothing But Bones Attack Illusions Hellfire Fencing Weakness The Sea Jinbei Defense Hiding Underwater Blubber Attack Ranged Water Punch Armament Hockey Frankie Defense Steel Body Airtight Attack General Cannon Weakness Running Out of Fuel Tony Tony Chopper Defense Dig Attack The Doctor Prescribes a Hoof Shot Weakness Sensitive Nose So this is how it turns out I'll address this immediately, Luffy loses against Zoro because he's weak against slice and pierce damage. He wins against Sanji because he's strong against blunt attacks. He loses against Jinbei because Jinbei is a hard counter towards all Devil Fruit users. I had to reluctantly give Zoro and Sanji a tie. I am not declaring a tie because they always tie in the manga. Sigh. It's because the only difference between their abilities on paper is that Zoro has a ranged attack while Sanji has Skywalk. So Zoro could try to keep a distance and pepper Sanji from a range, but Sanji's increased mobility plus observation hockey means he's almost impossible to hit from a range. So yes, this matchup is exactly like canon. Jinbei wins against Zoro and Sanji, because while it's much the same as the matchup between Zoro and Sanji, the difference is that Jinbei's attack cannot be dodged because you can't see the path of his punch, not even with observation hockey. He also has the option of hiding in water, thus forcing the match to become ranged, or for his opponent to throw himself into the waves in an attempt to fight him. This demonic strategy is what earns him so many victories. Sanji instantly loses against the girls because all they have to do is strip and he dies of blood loss. The poorest performance is Chopper who won no matchups. His sensitive nose means he is weak to Usopp's exotic attacks, remember Rafflesia, but even without that he probably wouldn't have won, since he has no ranged options. 
Nami and Usopp can simply pepper him with attacks from a range until they win. Brook wins a lot of matchups simply because very few straw hats are capable of resisting his illusions. I have taken into account that they can cover their ears, however, they cannot attack with their hands while doing that, so Sanji is the only one still capable of his strongest attack. Robin wins because she can snap his neck before he can use his illusions. He manages a surprising victory against Jinbei, despite Jinbei's natural superiority against Devil Fruit users, because there is no water in Brook's body, which negates Jinbei's ranged water punch. In a matchup against Frankie, Brook loses because Frankie is inside the Shogun. Usopp loses all matchup that sees him against a hockey user, because they can avoid his ranged attacks. Usopp can attack from a range with a host of exotic bullets, but if they avoid them it's meaningless, and ultimately he can only get a few shots off before his opponent closes the gap. Nami's lightning ignores armament hockey, but ultimately she loses most of her fights because both her attack and defense take a bit of time to set up, so if her opponent has a faster ranged attack, there is little she can do to defend. Frankie is pretty much invincible unless you can break steel, but it's just his bad luck that a lot of his crewmates can do exactly that with the help of armament hockey. Furthermore, observation hockey can avoid bullets. He wins against Usopp because Shogun is airtight, and Usopp's exotic bullets would have little effect. He also wins against Nami because the Shogun works as a Faraday cage. Robin is another one who loses against armament hockey. Robin also loses against Frankie, because of his steel body making it impossible for her to break his neck. Asterisk Theory by Birdie